so twist of fate, we're good with that? Yes. Thank you. We'll be able to work on that. Okay, so let's look at gift and return. Love this technique. I don't know why you love this technique. I will show you. Zone folding. I don't see anything that is good about this technique. Okay. That's because, show me how you do the technique. I haven't done it in a long time, but it's good. Good. And you've done nothing to cancel my, nothing. Height, my height, depth, or width. No. Okay. Watch what I'm going to do. I start, okay, by dropping. One of the most powerful things we can do is drop. Okay. I work him on a number eight plane so that I can pass by. It's all about the parallels, the law of parallels. Okay? That's an inside joke. Sorry. Sorry, uh, Sorry Ron. Yeah. Uh, oh, whoops. <laughs> you can delete that. You can delete that. Um, so I'm, I'm going to work this number eight plane. I'm going to work him back on number eight plane. Number eight comes this way. Threw me on the left side. My bad. On number five plane. Okay? As I'm doing that, I'm going to pass by. What that does is that clears this shoulder to this zone here. So I'm taking again this over to here. I'm folding that zone over, boom, and then jamming this. Okay. Now I turn pull with my reverse step here. Okay. But this drops as well as this and my body. I go to a split stance and bounce forward. Okay. Okay. So I go split. Pull with the drop, okay, as I drop and then I jam that forward. Now, if I understand how the levers work when I do this, I can turn this also and jam it forward. Nice. Gets a nice elbow to the groin first, okay. So we're, and this is how, this is kind of a sequential locking thing. I'm locking the wrist to lock the elbow uh -huh. to direct it to the groin. Right? It looks like no, yeah, it's dandy. Okay. <laughs> so. Boom, we come in here, now we can reach. We're well clear of everything we need to worry about. Turn to lift, put him in position, heel pull to knee, and side kick, and come up. I think part of the problem, too, is just the basic, once you get in under there, the pulling part, right. that won't work for me. I don't have the, I don't have necessarily the mass or the body strength to do that. If someone is bigger than me... That's because you're um, not using the lever. Okay. Again, this... It looks... I'm seeing where you're just... This is a lever. Right. I have the arm. See? I'm using his arm as a lever to move his leg and pull him into position. And if I do that coupled with my body rotation, okay, so I drop, drive, I reach and grab. I grab the wrist, not the hand. Okay. Okay? And then I pull. Okay. Okay? So you're just, you're just using... The lever, you're, you're creating this lever with, with this arm, okay? And you're, you're using a class two lever. How is that a class two, Billy? Okay, because his leg is against the, is the middle, right? This is the fulcrum, leg is the effort, uh, is the load, this is the effort. So you pull that around, okay? Did you see the class two there? Yeah. Good. You see the class two, the wheelbarrow? I think so. Yeah. It's, it's, still, it's all new, so it's all synchronous, okay. so okay. I, don't, I don't have it. Um, you just have to take that wheelbarrow and turn it on its side, and that's where your lever is. Okay. 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 All right, so drop. So you Good. So, you, so you're trying to come in here. Make this work on plane with, with make all this motion work on plane okay. with this drop. So as you, I don't want to jerk your head, so I'm going to do this very slowly. So feet together, just natural stance. Cool. See how that works? Mm -hmm. Okay. So I'm we're passing, two, two cars passing in the night, okay? Good, don't go forward yet. Drop down and then bounce forward. Here. There, there, hold it, hold it. Good, that was a better drop. Yeah, that was a much better drop. Do the drop again. Yeah, there you go. See, that puts me here. See what happened? Uh-huh. Okay? Now I'm going to come in here. Okay. Now I'm going to come in here. 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 Now you're open to pass by me. Jam that. Uh, there you go. Get that hand out of there. Okay. Put that through. Turn, ah, there you go. Reach around, grab the wrist, good, and pull. Get that down so much better. Okay. okay. Now just go to here, grab the wrist. Okay. okay. Let's talk about how you can break. No, actually, no. If I'm grabbing to pull you here, okay, or here, okay, you need to, you need to figure out what you're pulling with. 
You pull them with the thumbs or you pull them with the fingers. This comes from golf. Okay? If I pull with the thumb, I'm weaker. If I pull with the fingers, I'm stronger. Okay? In my golf swing, if I pull with the fingers, I'm going to either slice or fade. If I pull with both hands simultaneously, you know, or relaxed. Anyway, so the point is, when you get around to here, let's start from the beginning. Okay. Now you get the hand down. Right. There you go. Boom. Yeah, yeah. There you go. Boom. See that? See that's part of this is part of the problem. You're trying to jam this in here, or trying to jam this in here. Okay. Okay, and you're binding it. You're binding everything. See how that elbow's bound? Okay. And now you can't get in there. Right. You need to turn this here so you can clear that. You see what I'm saying? So yeah, there you go. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I want to go down. Good. Yeah. This way? Turn this way. Okay. So I'm going to go down yeah. and turn it this yep. way. Yep, there you go. And then Boom. From here. Just grab. Yeah. Pull. There you go. See, you pulled with yeah. the fingers that time instead of with your thumb. Which was much easier. Yes, good. It's stronger. Why? You got four fingers and one thumb. Shoot. Right? Okay. Okay, so do it again. So I'm going to do. Good, I want you to need to drop more. I want, I want to feel. The... Ah, there you go. Good, and jam. Boom. Good, grab. Ah, the feet go. Good. Hit me. Good, it goes. Heel palm to the sciatica, knee kick, thrust. Which means we're going to practice it. Oh, well, so. Hopefully, you can metallicize it. Yes. Okay. Um, so, does that, does that make sense? Yes. Okay. So, hopefully, now, so when you're doing when you're doing the initial part, just do the initial part. Yeah, there you go. Good. You're driving down, I want you to drive and pull. See how that works? Just do a pullback in. Okay. Yeah, there you go. See, you're putting me over here. And then, and then drive it in. There you go. I'm doing that because my wrist hurts. Go. You're all right. So, okay. Now, you see my position? What happens? Much better. Okay. Much better for me. Good. So, so, come here. So, what happened? So, so when you got this, right here, right here. Okay. Okay. You got this under here. Now I'm, now I'm, now I'm working on the lower zones. Okay. And I'm going to pull this away from the upper zone here. Now I'm spreading the zone. Boom. So if I do this here, okay, ideally he's going to catch his face from falling. See how that works? Okay. If I put all that together, boom, he catches his face from falling. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. When you come in, when you come in here and you reach around, look, I'm not reaching for, I'm just reaching to grab, I'm going to hook that and then I'm going to pull. I'm going to hook and then I'm going to pull. Or I'm going to pull it out this way depending on what I need to do with him to make him work or make it work. When you need to move them, remember that if you're down a little lower and lifting the leg, again, you're working lever, right? Okay. So if you lift that leg, if they're a bigger guy or a girl, okay, and you try to move them up here, okay, by pulling across without lifting the leg, and you're just destroying the base again, right? Hmm. Okay. Leggy. So, uh, give to return. <laughs> now let's talk about let's talk about real quick about how the planes are, are a part of that. We talked about the number eight, and we have this chugga chugga, as Mr. Krauss liked to call it in his seminar that you guys at the Ohana, okay? Yeah, okay, anyway. It's, uh, it's an elliptical shape, okay? On a number eight plane. Now if you look at, or number five, thank you. <clears throat> if you look at these ellipses here, Okay? His is wrong, as is yours. It's supposed to be hard. Yes. It's just a pet peeve of mine. Sorry. Uh, okay. okay. I tried to say something wrong. I had them thrown in my pouches. They screwed up. Uh, uh, anyway, so <clears throat> this is the shape. So if I put this on number eight, number five plane, okay, and I rotate it this way, 
there's the shape I'm following. That's the shape I'm working with. All right. You were taught, and the reason I bring this up is because you were talking about the shape of a technique, mm -hmm. or the shape of a of some the way something flows, or the or the shape of how it works. That's kind of where that comes from, uh, and should be looked at the universal pattern for that for those shapes because uh, it'll give you a more finite definition of what that shape should be. Does that make sense? Okay. Instead of just this crazy orb flo floating around all over, if you look at it and you look and you say, okay, well, there's a specific path or pattern that this can follow to be the most effective that it can be, mm -hmm. right? It's like be all you can be, right. right? Same idea. We want it to be all it can be, okay? What? Marine. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> You know, and I don't expect you to just start, you know, whiz bang teaching that stuff tomorrow. But it's good to look at, it so that you, so that you start to get an understanding of, okay, the proper line of execution or the proper path of motion or path of action. For example, in delayed sword, if you're doing delayed sword, okay, boom, boom, there, right, is that is a number nine plane. Yeah, I don't know any, I don't understand. That's okay. So number nine, nine and nine and six are diagonal. You have three root planes, or three main, three, uh, yeah, the three master key planes, if you want to call it that, to keep it with the Kempo terminology, okay? Not that I really care. The three root planes, that's one, two, and three, okay? Those are the three root planes. Makes sense. Okay? Off of one, which is this uh, horizontal plane, you have six and nine, wait a minute. One more, my bad. Yeah. Four, one, four, and seven. They go in. They go in threes. So one, two, three. Then I have four, 